Hey guys, it's Thursday and today is a tool tip Thursday and you're going to want to grab your favorite watercolor pencils or maybe even some colored pencils and come on back and join me and today is all about coloring. All right, so for this particular project, I have already um, stamped, and you can see that I've already started to actually color this in. And I want to talk a little bit about when you are um, working on something where you're using either a watercolor pencil or you're using something as simple as a colored pencil, how to create depth. Um, with that and so one of the things that you need to remember is that whatever it is that you are actually coloring you, you need to think about it that there's a light on this at some point so I'm pretending like there's a light from above and so everything underneath on the bottom side is going to be a little darker because it's going to be in the shadow and so when you're when you're starting with colored pencils sometimes it helps to go ahead and just kind of color in and use a light touch to begin with and this way you'll ensure that you have some nice even coverage and once you have finished, so I'm going to start with this little section right here. So once, you, once you're finished and you have actually applied all of your color, you'll be able to go back and actually start developing some of the shadows. So. I know that my light's coming from above, so I know that everything in this section is going to be a little bit darker. And so I want to go back and apply a little bit of pressure. Just like so. And here's another area I want some depth. And you'll notice that I'm not taking it all the way. I don't want to go all the way down. I want to keep that darkness up close and then lessen the pressure that I'm applying on the pencil the further away I get from that section. So here we have a fold in the fabric and I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure right there. And then I'll go to another section. And sometimes it helps that when you're putting that pressure on that section, so when I'm applying pressure, sometimes it helps if you kind of, you can go over and actually, you know, add it in and then if you don't, if you don't like it, go back in and make it a little darker. Um, it's always best to err on the side of lighter and then increase the darkness as, you know, in, in the pressure as you go. And 
and you'll notice that, that there are places already where I have done that with another pencil. Here's me another section. I've got a deep fold here. Maybe one right there. Right in this section. This stamp set's just a little bit tricky here, just because it's hard to tell which way those folds are, but you can trick the eye into seeing it however you see it. So just by applying that shadow, it's going to provide that little bit of a eye trick so that when someone looks at it it looks almost three-dimensional and that's the purpose behind the shading finished. Alright, so do a little bit of shading here. In this section shading here and this is this is one of the easier stamps because they have like the darker lines and so you know that where those lines are that that was a shadow that was meant to be there To this little section and I'm not making like really big deep uh, it's just up against back. you can go back and fix a few places that you think would be or need to be a little darker, maybe a little more. Maybe that shadow is going to carry a little further down. And just like that, you're finished. Just make sure that you keep everything 
that that light is looking down on it wherever you think those natural shadows are going to be. That's where you're going to put the most emphasis, you know, be a little heavier. And that's an easy way to create a more three-dimensional look with nothing more than colored pencils. All right, thank you. Uh, for more great ideas, go and visit my website at www.justmarthadesigns.com and I look forward to giving you more great tips. So, until later. I hope that you found today's tool tip to be helpful. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up um, so that... Uh, you know, I'll know what you're looking for and also it helps me out um, to make sure that my videos are seen. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, every Thursday we have tool tips for crafting and every Tuesday we have tech tips. And so look for those videos to come out. Um, also, just letting you know Remember the Occasions Catalog. Right now you can order from the Occasions Catalog. You can find that on my website at JustMarthaDesigns.com. Go up to the top where it says Shop and just kind of hover over that um, and go down to where it says Catalogs. Um, check out the Occasions Catalog. You can purchase from the Occasions Catalog up until May. And right now celebration is going on and you can earn free stamp sets and free um, items including you know hundred dollar item that you can that you can actually um, get just by for every fifty dollars that you spend you get a free item for every one hundred dollars you can get two fifty dollar items or one one hundred dollar item and that's going on right now through March 31st. So be sure to get your celebration. Um, also, if you decide, hey, I want to join your team. Joining my team is easy and during celebration it's even better because you get two, two free stamp sets for signing up during um, celebration. So check out my website it has all the details